Hey guys, alright, one thing real quick, um, if anyone knows an assistant, an efficient assistant that knows what they're doing, please let me know, because I need a new one, Paul's a fuck up, he's a retard, and he's about to cost me my role in Booty Ninja, and are those real anal beads, so, yeah, he, he's got me doing, fuck, hosting a fucking news show, who, who, what, why, I'm an actor, I'm a seasoned actor, why, so now I'm forced to do, to host this, gaming news show i don't know why uh whatever but um yeah if anyone knows anyone let me know quick fast please thanks yeah i'm ready to shoot where what are you guys doing i mean i've been here since six this morning you guys are just lollygagging around I'm tired of this low budget shit Welcome to this week's episode of Webhead News. Grand Theft Auto V, also dubbed as Grand Theft Auto Online, has been revealed to be its own entity, its own mode. Uh, Grand Theft Auto Online is not the same as Grand Theft Auto V. It's its own mode. Uh, it contains this. It uses the same engine, contains the same gameplay, the, can the same mechanics, um, the environment, stuff like that. But it's a totally different game. Um, it supports up to 16 players online. It's strictly online only. Strictly online only. And there's tons you can do in this game. You can team up with other players, rob banks, do heists. You can team up against other players with a group of people. Uh, eight on eight. You can have your gang, which is eight, and have another gang, which is eight, and go to war. Um, this game comes out, or this mode actually is released two weeks after Grand Theft Auto V hits the shelf. World of Warcraft. What do you guys think when you hear that name? Dying franchise? Maybe. But Blizzard would like you guys to think otherwise. They have finally come out with a new patch, 5.4 or the Siege of Orgrimmar. The Siege of Orgrimmar, or Patch 5.4, focuses on the Horde war chief Gorosh Hellscream's final steps into all-out villainy. So with that being said, there's going to be new content revolving around Gorosh Hellscream. The new content will include a 14 boss raid for top-tier dungeon crawlers. There's a three wing raid that includes the final battle against Gorosh Hellscream. Also, Blizzard has added a new proving ground for training and for players to up their skills and check their stats. Meaning the new dummies, the dummies that they have in town, they're going to be relocating the dumb the training dummies to another part of Orgrimmar. The final segment of the Legacy Quest, Judgment of the Black Prince, will also be rolled out in this new patch 5.4. Along with this 14 boss raid, Blizzard has also implemented a new system in order to help smaller groups raid these dungeons. The difficulty of the raid will adjust to the amount of people that are in your group. And last but not least, the PvP, they have decided to improve the matchmaking features for PvP to make it easier and simpler and a better experience for those who like to play versus other players. There is no release date for this patch, but seeing as how this is marking their one year anniversary since Mist of Pandaria was released, I'm guessing that this patch will be coming out sometime in the near future before at least the year is over. Hopefully this game or this franchise will uh, rise from the ashes like the Phoenix uh, because they are definitely up until now have been a dying franchise. Maybe this patch will revitalize this franchise. 
we'll have to wait and see what happens. WB Montreal has finally revealed the Batman Arkham Origins Collector's Edition. And boy is it a doozy. There is so much in this Collector's Edition pack that you, you can't want anything else after that. It has everything in it. Um, just to name a few things, it has a Batman Wanted poster, blueprints to the Batwing, a Gotham City glow-in-the-dark map, an exclusive 9-inch Arkham Origins statue featuring light-up LED effects by Triforce, Bruce's family photo, the 1930s first appearance Batman skin, the Deathstroke's challenge pack, play as Deathstroke in the Arkham Origins challenge maps, also features two additional Deathstroke-centric maps and character skins. A DVD copy of Necessary Evil, Super Villains of DC Comics. It's a feature-length documentary as narrated by Christopher Lee, exploring DC's extensive stable of rogues. Um, these things that are included in this pack is a must-have. And it's not as much as you would think. Usually... Collector's Edition bundles are anywhere from $100 to $125, $150. This is a little bit under that. It's $119.99 for this bundle, and it will be available. But you have to reserve the game in order to get it. So, I suggest you guys go ahead and reserve your games, because the game is supposed to be released October. The end of October is when the game is being released. So I would reserve my copy of the Collector's Edition today.